boom. You're born just like that. And now you're a passenger on a metaphorical bus. And the bus is being driven by mad people. The bus is driving towards a wall and the steering is locked. When it gets there, all the passengers on this bus are going to die, perhaps horribly. This bus keeps chugging along. And the passengers around you look ecstatically happy about it. Sometimes. They're clapping, they're singing songs, they're making all kinds of hullabaloo about being on this bus and how great it is. Look around you at the other passengers. Some of them, some of them look a bit glum, a bit sad, a bit angry. Some of them look like they've taken a step back and they're disasso disassociating themselves from the rest of their passengers. But, you know, the people in the driving seat, the mad people driving the bus, they look like they're having fun. They look like they're happy. They look like they're following some type of plan. So the passengers gawk at them and clap their hands and woo, woo, woo and say, he's a great guy. He's got my vote. But they don't see the wall, the inevitable doom that awaits us. And they all make up stories of why we're on this bus Different, different viewpoints, different religions, different philosophies, different ideologies, different outlooks. But they don't seem to cling on to the one actual fact that we're on a bus going towards a wall. And it's going to be a horrible, horrible end. And you know... Even though they don't know why they're on the fucking bus. And even though we're going towards a wall. They decide to bring other little poor innocent beings into the situation. The women are giving birth in the passenger seats. To new little passengers. New little passengers that will have to sit on this bus being driven by mad people. And the men... They go around in their feckless way, walking around the bus, swinging their balls and fucking the women because it's kind of fun. But nobody thinks about the bus driving towards the wall. And people die on the journey. Everyone dies on the journey at some stage. Horrifically, cancer, hemorrhages, Alzheimer's, old age, heart attacks. And everybody cries and is upset and grieves. But still, they bring new baby passengers onto the bus that is driving towards the wall. Don't do it, folks. Don't bring a child on a one-way, non-refundable journey towards its own demise. The bus is going to crash one day. The journey's not fun for a switched-on, sensitive being. They will die on this pointless journey. And it will be all because of your vanity, your egotistical inability to feel pain of others to feel empathy.
It will be because you've swallowed the bullshit, the narrative of the mad people, that there's a meaning behind this, that we're going somewhere, we're not going anywhere. The bus is going towards a fucking wall. And what are we, what are we actually achieving on this journey? I tell you what we're achieving on this journey as we sit in our pass in our passenger seats. We're making up fucking stories and narratives and singing songs about being on the bus that is one day going to kill us all. That's what we're achieving. And we're trying to stay on that bus as long as we can. Why? Well, I suppose it's good not to feel pain. I don't think anybody should jump off the bus because that might be very painful. But don't bring anybody else onto the bus. Have that level of respect. Have that love for your creation, not to bring them into being. Have that love for yourself, not to feel the guilt of causing someone else's demise, someone else's pain, someone else's suffering on a pointless journey, on a bus driven by mad people towards a fucking wall. Don't do it. Don't be responsible for suffering and death. I'm still on this fucking bus. The bus going towards the wall. I don't know where my time is coming, but my time is coming like all of you. And the only solace I have is I will not be bringing somebody else onto this bus driving towards a fucking wall.